Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I profusely enjoy your company. So there's the word again that I like using in all my videos tonight. I appreciate you being here. And today's video is a little bit different than what we normally do. And the reason, the sole reason I am making this video is because I have had an overwhelming amount of people on the Discord, the muckers Discord we have. You can come join if you want ask me to cover this. And a lot of people have been sending me articles, breakdowns, all these different things about the Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber, Kylie Jenner, all these different people, drama that has been going on right now. Now, I have been kind of silently enjoying this drama um, because I am a huge Selena Gomez fan and I really haven't been speaking about it on social media. It's not really, you know, mainstream, you know, drama is not really stuff I cover. I cover stuff with like, you know, nobodies. Um, so this was new and the reason that I wanted to cover it was because I am a ride or die Selena Gomez fan and I have some really strong opinions on this. So what we're going to do is kind of surface level explain what is going on because again a lot of people are asking me that they do not know what is going on, they don't use TikTok and they would love to know. So what we're going to do in today's video is kind of surface level explain everything that has been going on and if people enjoy this video and want a deeper, deeper dive into it, I can get into timelines, I can get into dates, I can get into Hailey Bieber stalking, I can get into all of these things. But until that moment, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to get into it. Now, as you're aware, I'm a huge, huge, huge Selena Gomez fan. So much so that I have been all my life, like I even posted today online. This is from me in school, where a photographer came to a picture of a bunch of students and they interviewed us and they asked us a couple things. This is what my one says, Adam McIntyre, age 10. I like coming to school to see my friends and I also like doing creative writing. Recently, we've been learning about commas. Riveting. When I get older, I want to be an actor or a singer. My favorite actor is Johnny Depp, and my favorite singer is Selena Gomez. So it's since age 10, this has been, I am now 20, so that is a decade that I have been writing and dying for Selena Gomez, and I actually had the opportunity to meet her. Her team invited me to meet her um, a couple months ago, and I actually brought photos of me during my, like, really young era of being obsessed with Selena Gomez. I still am, but you have no idea how much I was back then. And um, two, whenever I met her, she was an angel, she was a darling, and it was like a little VIP event for her rare beauty. And I am so grateful, and I just, I love Selena Gomez. And we're gonna get to it, okay? So, I have this article, which is basically the timeline going through everything, and I'm gonna stop and start and kind of say different, you know, opinions. But basically, here is what happened. So on January 7th, the drama between Hailey Bieber, who's married to Justin Bieber, who had a very long relationship with Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and they were dating from teens, oh my god, Jelena, please, let's, don't get me started. Justin Bieber was the vein of my life whenever I was a young kid growing up because of the drama that I was seeing my queen Selena Gomez get into because of him. And Hailey Bieber, her entire life, her father was trying to basically, in a way, set up like, basically like arranging them to get married in any situation that Hailey Baldwin or, you know, her father could, you know, get her to meet Justin Bieber or just be in the the arrangement of where Justin Bieber would be, Hailey Bieber and her father would be there. So much so that from Selena Gomez's red carpet event where Justin Bieber would be there and they were dating, they were taking photos together, Hailey Bieber is seen in the background. Or Selena Gomez's movie premieres where Justin Bieber is there supporting his girlfriend. Hailey Bieber is also at that event. Her father brought her to all these different events trying to get her as close to Justin Bieber as possible and they end up getting married and they had a very on and off again relationship so whenever Selena and Justin would take breaks, Justin would be kind of be swooped in by Hailey Bieber as Hailey Baldwin back then and she kind of filled the in-between stages of whenever Justin and Selena would take their many 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 breaks and it, in my opinion, comes across that on one day, Justin Bieber, this is all alleged, it's what my opinion is, I believe that Justin Bieber proposed to Selena Gomez after they got together after a long break, and Selena Gomez, in my opinion, probably declined that. And then Justin Bieber, in two months, was engaged to Hailey Bieber and married to Hailey Bieber. And we have, in Selena Gomez's song, Lose You To Love Me, in two months she replaced me. And that is exactly what happened, where basically Selena and Justin were together, 
and then they weren't seen together from that moment and within two months Haley is swept in and she's married to Justin and she got what her and her father always wanted which was to be a part of the Bieber family. There are so many photos of Haley Bieber on red carpets where she is holding up pictures of Selena Gomez. She loves Selena Gomez so that's also important to note in all of this. So on January 9th, <laughs> can you tell I'm a Selena Gomez fan? January 9th, the drama between Haley and Selena starts when fans assume that a TikTok Haley posted and quickly deleted after getting called out, so whenever you're guilty, you delete the TikTok, was shading Selena. The TikTok in question featured Haley and her friends lip syncing to the sound, and I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. And fans speculated that it was in reference to Selena being body shamed over recent vacation photos, and in a couple of Selena's recent TikToks, she was getting called every name under the sun, very much so body shamed from her face to her body, and it was really extreme online, that it was like trending online, and during this, Hailey Bieber, who frequently will reference Selena Gomez anyway because she comes across as obsessed, made this TikTok being like, I'm not saying she deserves it, but God's timing's always right about Selena Gomez getting uh, basically fat shamed and body shamed over all these different social medias. And the then Hailey Bieber gets called out for it and she deletes the TikTok and she never speaks of it again. So it kind of makes her look very guilty here. So then we go on and we have this little video that we are going to watch from TikTok. I'm just seeing this TikTok. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So wait, this is going really quickly. I hate using TikTok on my computer. But basically, like there were news articles. I know you really can't see this, but I'm basically just showing you so you can hear the sound of the Hailey Bieber one. So there was a news article saying about I'm Selena Gomez being body shamed. Basically it was really big news. And it was about Selena on vacation. Is she, it, is she for real? Did she really? I'm not so basically, I just wanted you to hear what the audio was. And it's Hailey Bieber standing there with her drink being like, I'm not saying um, she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. And this was in the wake of those vacation photos of Selena, which she looked beautiful anyway. But I just wanted you to hear it. You know what I mean? I just wanted you to hear it. All right. Okay. So... Um, we are gonna go on from this moment, and I just want to show you one I'm more time. I'm just seeing this TikTok. Okay, wait. So Selena on vacation. She deserved it, but I'm saying God's is she for real? Did she really? Just. I'm not even like it. Really weird and really catty. Okay. So then January 11th, Haley responds to speculation about her alleged shade, writing, "I never comment on this type of thing, but you involve yourself in it." But we were just having a girls night and did a random TikTok sign for fun. It's not directed at anyone. So she responds in a comment saying that, as we're aware, February 9th, Selena hops into the Instagram comments um, and on TikTok and writes, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone because people were then coming for Haley, being like, why would you come for Selena? Selena wrote this comment that was basically, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. Meanwhile, Selena was the one that was getting made fun of by all of Haley Bieber's you know, comment sections, Hailey Bieber made this TikTok that was insinuatingly making fun of her. Selena Gomez was being body shamed, yet Selena Gomez was the one that was like, be nice to everyone, like, it is what it is. February 22nd. In the wake of Selena Gomez mentioning that she over-laminated her brows on TikTok, fans spiral thanks to Kylie Jenner posting a photo of herself with the words, this was an accident, question mark, over her brows. And then the spiral went even more when Kylie shares a picture of Hailey Bieber's brows. So, for context, at this stage, Selena Gomez was at 379 um, million, which is insane, followers on Instagram, and Kylie Jenner was at 380. So Selena Gomez was about to take the crown again for most followed uh, on Instagram. So this shade then came from Kylie Jenner being bitter, allegedly, and Selena Gomez seemingly, you know, about to surpass her on Instagram followers because if Kylie Jenner doesn't have her Instagram, what does she have? Whereas Selena Gomez has rare beauty, she has her music career, she's all these different things, self-made. So this Kylie Jenner shade was a little bit more, you know, perceiving than the Hailey Bieber. And Hailey Bieber was not involved. Sorry, I have so many hiccups, I just downed a Diet Coke. Hailey Bieber was involved in this Kylie Jenner mess as well. Um, and we're gonna get to this. I am doubling down for those who are doubting me. I do believe Kylie Jenner posted these Instagram stories about Selena Gomez. I think I just got the reason wrong. Somebody just sent me a video and I completely forgot Selena Gomez said this in her video yesterday, but let me show you. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Why is it that three hours after Selena Gomez posted those videos on TikTok, 
would Kylie Jenner post this was an accident? And I about the laminated brush text on her freaking eyebrows. And again, posted a screenshot of her and Hailey Bieber and them just showing their eyebrows. One thousand percent, I am not reaching. In my opinion, they are shading Selena Gomez, and this is very 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 childish it's and very what catty. i don't understand is why because i personally so here we see eyebrows eyebrows the benefit Kylie, of i come and recall your daddy interview like i don't get it and on top of that they made up like they took photos together but then I saw that Hailey Bieber posted a video with Kendall Jenner, which was very shady. I did not cover it because I'm like, I don't want to read into it. She deleted it and said it was not towards anybody, but people think it was about Selena Gomez. And now her and Kylie are doing this. Like, I just, I don't get it. Especially when they know Selena Gomez is somebody who constantly battles with her mental health. Like, what is the purpose? This is... My God, this is so high school. Uh, anyway, I don't do mean girl energy. This is not the vibe. So again, this stemmed from Kylie got involved making fun of Selena allegedly with the eyebrows because Selena was about to overtake her on Instagram and then involved Hailey Bieber because Hailey Bieber is getting talked about as well within this. And here's the thing, Selena recently took a picture with Hailey Bieber at an event and they seemingly had, you know, been on friendly terms. And Selena hadn't mentioned her. And Haley just randomly starts doing all these different things. From TikToks to just little petty things about, like, eyebrows. When Selena Gomez would mention it, then they're doing it. And they've done the same error. It just comes across so catty and so weird. And then we continue, right? So we go down. And then on February 23rd, Kylie hops into the comments of the above TikTok to write, This is reaching. No shade towards Selena ever. And I didn't see her eyebrow post. But it's just like, why would you have done those eyebrow posts and then done a separate one talking about Hailey Bieber's eyebrows being laminated as well whenever it was just Selena getting a viral moment talking about that and you're just like making fun of her. It's so, it's so like stupid, you know what I mean? Like it's so stupid. That's what all of this is. It's catty against Selena Gomez. No shade towards Selena ever. It's like at least double down. At least double down. If you're going to do it, like double down. I would much rather appreciate that. I didn't see your eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Selena then responds to Kylie because Selena saw that Kylie was getting attacked for this and said, agreed. It's all unnecessary. I'm actually a fan of Kylie. Again, shutting down people coming for that. And Selena Gomez is the one that gets all the hate for it. So she's getting made fun of, hate, all these different things. Yet she's coming to the defense of people who are making fun of her again. All right, okay, so here we see the comments. This is reaching no shades towards Selena. Agree, Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie. All right. Later in the day, the internet realizes so that Selena commented on an old video of Haley on that same day, which was um, basically making fun of Taylor Swift. In response, Selena wrote, so sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Now, this was re in reference to this video started going viral about Haley Bieber and one of the people who was on the show with her mentions, you know, Taylor Swift and uh, having a lot of boyfriends, whatever like that, and Hailey Bieber goes, eh. And Selena Gomez, who's best friends with Taylor Swift and has time and time again came to the defense of Taylor Swift so much so that getting herself backlash, again, said, so sorry, but my best friend continues to be one of the best in the game. And it's basically a video of uh, Hailey Bieber doing, eh on like live TV about Taylor Swift and Selena came to her defense and now this video was going viral 100,000 likes so of course Selena saw it and Selena engaged with it and here was the a video one, one rap battle full of the meanest lyrics about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album so the video says uh, this is the real Hailey Bieber mean girl and a bully and then Shortly after this, Selena announces that she's taking a break from social media during a TikTok live saying, I'm very happy, I'm so blessed, I have the best friends, the best fans in the entire world, and I couldn't be happier. I'm good, I love the way I am, I don't care, I'm big, I'm not, I don't care, I love who I am, and yeah, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because this is all getting a bit silly. I'm 30, I'm too old for this, so I love you guys so much and I will see you sooner than later. I'm just gonna need to take a break from everything. So here we have Selena. Well, I'd have to care if there was. I'm very happy. I'm so blessed. I have the best friends, the best fans in the whole world, and I just couldn't be happier. Um, I'm good. I love who I am, I don't care. I'm big, I'm not, I, would, I don't I don't care. I love who I am. And yeah, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because 
it's this is a little silly. And I'm 30, I'm too old for this, so. But I love you guys so much. <laughs> and I will see you guys um, sooner than later. I just, I'm gonna just take a break from everything. All right, so then we have that. And so Selena had posted this picture of her on social media and then included, I'm now gonna be taking a little break from social media. Um, then fans noticed that Selena, before logging off on her accounts, commented on a couple TikToks calling out Haley for alleged bullying. In addition to writing, I love you, on a since-deleted video of a fan calling out Mean Girls coming for Selena's throat, she writes, that made me cry, thank you, basically for defending her, but the video is now deleted. Selena was commenting on a video that was saying, people stop coming for Selena, blah, 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 these Mean Girls are coming for Selena. Selena commented on that, being like, thank you for defending me, I appreciate it, because the video was also going viral. Does anybody just ever feel, like, really bad for Selena Gomez? Like, can you imagine going through a breakup? so publicly with a guy that you were in love with for like seven years and then like two months later you just like marry someone and then you have like a chronic illness or an autoimmune disease sorry i don't know too much about lupus but i can't imagine that it's fun and living with that and the flare-ups and just having to live with it within the public eye while people are watching you and then dealing with mental health when life is hard enough already honestly like kudos to her for being so brave and so public and just like so open about her journey but i bet if we ever walked a day in her shoes where like everything is so publicized and like you say one thing and everything everybody comes after you and like all this stuff like that'd be so hard and so whenever i think about a hard day i think about selena gomez which is i feel bad saying that but i'm like if she can do it everybody can so we have that video and notably, the TikTok above starts with, does anyone ever re feel really bad for Selena Gomez going through a breakup? And basically in two months after, you know, you broke up with him, he marries someone else, which is so crazy. Then on February 25th, Justin Bieber's mom, Patty, tweets this at the peak of all of the drama. Hate is ugly, don't be ugly, which literally can be, cons you know, about her daughter-in-law, about Haley. And then on 26, fans then claim that Patty liked and unliked a tweet about Selena's brief social media break. So basically, um, Justin Bieber's mom has always kind of been engaged with Selena Gomez on social media ever since their breakups. It very com comes across that she prefers Selena over Haley anyway. Um, then on the 27th, fans read into Haley's decision to use the solo version of Calm Down by Selena Gomez. So basically, just like really petty things, Haley Bieber then posts on Instagram and... Selena Gomez's song, you know, baby, show me you can come down. You know that song? That features Selena Gomez. Hailey Bieber randomly just posted, you know, an Instagram story, but did the version that didn't include Selena Gomez. So just like random, like really petty shit like that. Here's the photo of them when they, you know, met a couple months ago and Selena was so nice to Hailey and then everything kind of, you know, there was no drama and then everything just got brought up again by Hailey and her friend Rip. Now in the wake of both Kylie and Hailey losing followers, and Selena gaining millions, Demois reports that a reliable source says Selena is majorly annoyed by the way everything has spiraled. Now, basically, it's important to note that, uh, by the way, Selena has been now back on social media and has said, thank you so much for all the love. I'm deeply grateful for each and every one of you. You make me unbelievably happy. Please, please be kinder and consider others' mental health. My heart has been heavy and I only want good for others. All my love, along with a video of her getting ready. Selena Gomez has gained millions of followers on social media like it has became like a trend on TikTok now to like get your boyfriend to follow Selena Gomez, like getting my parents to follow Selena Gomez and Kylie and Hailey Bieber have lost hundreds of thousands so don't be a mean girl, don't be catty, that's what all this boils down to, look how that turned out for them. In the wake of Kylie being petty that Selena was about to overtake her in followers, look what happened. In the wake of Hailey bringing up Selena randomly, look what happened. Meanwhile Selena from the start was saying, you know, please be kinder to people. Let's move on, all these different things. So let me know your opinion. Again, if you want me to dive deeper into this and this video does well enough, I will. Because you know, as someone who loves Selena Gomez, I know the fucking timeline down to the hour of the breakups of when Haley was seen with him, when Justin was with Selena, when, when Selena got with The Weeknd, then when they broke up, trust me, I know everything. If you want that, I can give you that. But if no one cares about this video, then no one cares about this video. Um, let me know. We'll talk about it down below. I appreciate you being here. I will see you in the next one. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure to go follow me on Twitch. Link down below. I stream there most days. And come join our Discord. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.